this is very normal question that can a charged capacitor charge a battery or not means this capacitor can charge a battery or not the simple answer is yes yes it can charge a charged capacitor can charge a battery but the process requires certain conditions and considerations when a charged capacitor is connected to a discharged battery the capacitor can uh, discharge its stored energy into battery effectively transferring electrical charge from the capacitor to the battery this process is often used in the various electronic circuit systems especially in situations where rapid burst of the energy are required however there are some important uh, factors to consider first one that is voltage match the voltage of the charged capacitor should be approximately equal to or slightly higher than the voltage of the battery connecting a capacitor with significantly higher voltage to a battery could potentially damage the uh, battery the second one is charge transfer efficiency the efficiency of charge transfer uh, depends on the internal resistance of the battery and the characteristics of the capacitor <coughs> some energy may be lost due to resistance and inefficiencies in the uh, transfer process third one is the battery chemistry different batteries chemistries example lead acid uh, second one uh, lithium ion third one nickel cadmium cadmium have the specific charging requirements care should be taken to ensure that the charging process is compatible uh, with the battery type fourth one is the uh, charge control depending on the application control circuitry may be needed to regulate the charging process monitor voltage levels and prevent overcharging or other potential issues fifth one is the that is the safety safety precautions are important when working with the charged capacitor and batteries capacitors can charge rapidly and potentially uh, cause electric shocks or damage if not properly handled the sixth one is the application uh, this kind of battery to charge uh, this kind of uh, capacitor to battery charge transfer is typically used in the specific applications when a where a sudden burst of energy is needed such as in the flashlight camera flashes or the certain type of portable electronic devices so it is worth noting that this method is not the most efficient way to charge a battery in many cases dedicated battery charging circuits and the technologies are used to provide the controlled and optimized charging uh, based on the specific characteristics of the battery chemistry if you are considering using a charged capacitor to charge a battery it is important to have a clear understanding of the specific components involved the safety precautions required the compatibility of the capacitor and the battery of the intended applications